Welcome to H2K Infosys. H2K Infosys is a e-verify business based in Atlanta, Georgia, United States. We provide 100% job-oriented, instructor-led, face-to-face, true live online software training programs. It also includes access to Cloud Test Lab with software tools. We provide live project for you to work on. We also provide assistance with mock interviews, resume preparation and review, and job placement assistance. H2K Infosys is trusted by so many students across the world. H2K Infosys provides world-class services in IT training with real-time project work for corporates and individuals, special IT training for MS students in the United States, software design development, QA manual and automation, performance testing and maintenance, IT staff augmentation, job placement assistance and tech support. In this video, we will see how to insert a bitmap checkpoint into a test script. A bitmap checkpoint is used to capture any images that may be present on the application. So let's see how to do it. Here are the steps to insert a bitmap checkpoint into a test script. Let's launch the UFT tool. Hit continue. Select OK. Click on File, New, Test, Create, Now go to Design, select Step Generator, select Utility Objects, select System Util. Now we have to give the target path for the application. Right click on Flight GUI, Properties, copy the target path and paste it in the value field. Select OK. And now let's run to launch the flight application. Now let's start recording a test script. Click on the record button. Go to Design, Checkpoint, select Bitmap Checkpoint to insert a bitmap checkpoint and click on the flight image and click OK. Now as you see in this box it says checkpoint timeout 10 seconds. What that means is if the image does not get loaded in 10 seconds, it will fail the test. And you can change the number of seconds as you may want. In this case, we are giving 10 seconds. So if the image does not load in 10 seconds, it is going to fail the test. Let's see how long it takes to load the image. Click OK. And now let's automate the application. Let's give the agent name and the password as this is all getting recorded in the test script. Click on OK. Now this is done. Let's exit out of the application and stop recording.
now as you see it says a uh, static checkpoint so the checkpoint has been inserted let's save this test script as bitmap checkpoint Now let's run the test to see the results. Run. After you run the script, let's view the results. Go to view, click on last run results. And now this is all in green. That means the test passed, the bitmap checkpoint passed the test. When you click on login, there is the static and under that there is checkpoint. And on the right hand say, side it says bitmap checkpoint static passed. And below you see the expected bitmap versus the actual bitmap. And there is also this little button underneath which says view differences. If you click on that one, it's a blank page right now since both the expected bitmap and the actual bitmap matched. If there was a difference, this will point out what the difference was. And uh, it says it took one second for the image to load. So if it had taken more than 10 seconds, the test would have failed. So this is how we insert a bitmap checkpoint. Here are the steps. So many of our students have given testimonials on how our training programs are. You will find them on kudzu.com and on our website h2kinfosys.com. On our website h2kinfosys.com, you will also find more detailed information on who we are, the courses that we offer, what each course covers. Also, if you're interested in a demo program, please register on our homepage on the left hand side. Just give us more information about yourself and we will send you a link for a demo class. The demo class is absolutely free. Experience our commitment by just attending an orientation workshop at no cost. Our team of faculty and advisors are here to guide you with the right information. If you still have more questions, please feel free to call us. Call us at 770-777-1269. This is a United States number. If you're calling from the UK, call us at 020-337 one seven six one five. You can also email us at training at h two k infosys dot com or h two k infosys at gmail dot com. Thank you for watching our videos. We wish you a great career in information technology.